Well, welcome to day four of your five day training series, how to create a high converting lead capture pages for beginners. And just in case you didn't notice, we're doing the bonus front end of your funnel. That way everything is complete by the time you're done. Now let's recap what we've learned so far. On day one, you learned how to create a lead capture page from scratch with an opt-in form. On day two, we connected your email and we activated your GDPR disclaimer on your website without any coding, extra plugins, or any complicated integrations. On day three, you learned how to create a confirmation page and a thank you page and how to connect those two things to your email opt-in form. Now on day four, I'm going to take this page, duplicate it and take it to the next level and show you how you can turn a short form opt-in page to a long form landing page with bullet points and testimonials and all those cool things that make your lead capture page convert even higher. And as a bonus, I'm also going to show you how to create a global footer so that as you start building more pages, you can always just edit the footer with a couple of tweaks and it'll automatically update across the board throughout your entire funnel. Now remember, day five is a surprise video and I'm going to teach you some really cool things. So you want to make sure that you come back for the grand finale on day five. So if you haven't done so already, make sure to thumbs up this video and follow along so that you have everything you need to get your first high converting lead capture page off the ground quickly. So if you want to follow along with the series, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel as I upload these videos to my channel. So with that being said, let's dig right into it. get started, I just want to go ahead and invite you to visit my website over at www.risemarketinganddesign.com. You can send me a message, you can learn how to work with me, and if you're still struggling with selling but need to start making more sales, you can enroll in my free 5-day How to Sell Without Selling Challenge and discover the exact formula I used to sponsor 450 new partners in 24 months 100% online and become a top producing affiliate inside my company without pitching, convincing, prospecting, picking up the phone or slaving away on social media all day. You can go ahead and roll for free now. All right, now before we get into showing you how we created the landing page, I want to share with you how to add a global footer to your funnel. Now, why do you want a global footer? Because we could literally build each page and have a footer at the bottom of it. What happens is, is that as you build different pages to your funnel, you may even want to expand this project into becoming a membership site later on down the line. Or you may even want to incorporate it into a website that you're building within the Cheetah Builder. So you can literally add pages onto this project to make it like a full on website. There's so many options that you have. But the thing is, you may want your footer to change in every page or in different pages. For example, you may have a menu on a membership site page, but you may only have a copyright footer on a lead capture page. You don't want a menu on that footer on the lead capture page. So creating a global footer gives you the ability to change the footer and customize what page you want a certain footer to appear on. That way you pick and choose what footer appears on what page you're creating. And trust me, guys and gals, that becomes super duper valuable, especially when you want to just maybe add something to a menu or add an image or a graphic or a logo to a footer or something like that you are going to kick yourself if you have to go through an entire website editing each and every footer on each and every page. Um, that's why the global footer was invented. Okay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create a quick footer for our project. So I'm just going to do something very, very simple. I'm going to create a new footer and we're just going to call it copyright footer copyright footer. Okay. We're just going to call it that. 
And we're going to keep it super duper duper simple just so that you can see how this works. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to click on add and I'm going to click on panels and I'm going to scroll down because builder already has some pre-made footers for you that you can choose from. So let's go ahead and click on footer. So I'm going to keep it super simple and I am going to select a, just a very uh, plain footer with not much on it. So let's go ahead and select this one. And I'm just going to make it a little bit, you know, bigger here. And I'm not going to need the menu. So I'm just going to delete it. Okay. And then I'm just going to, you know, put here copyright. Copyright 2021. And then you can just put your company name, yourname.com. Okay. So that's it. We're just going to leave it just like that. And I want to have just a little bit of space so that the page doesn't look, you know, too short. I want to have, you know, enough space between the last panel on the page and the footer. So let's go ahead and click on save. All right. So now that footer is created. Now let's go back and you're going to notice something. Let me go ahead and republish really quickly. So when I go to the lead capture page, okay, you're going to notice there is no footer here. I have to assign the footer. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to assign the footer. We're going to go and click on the three dots and click on settings. And we're going to scroll all the way down and we're going to go to footer settings. We're going to choose the footer we just created. So we're going to put copyright footer and we're going to put copyright footer for the mobile as well. You could even create a custom footer just for the mobile. All you have to do is just name it accordingly and then select it over here in the settings area. It's super cool. Okay. So now I'm just going to do the, the same exact thing for each and every page. Now, uh, I already pre-recorded the landing page creation part. So I'm just going to go ahead and you see this here, even though we haven't technically, I haven't technically showed you how to create this yet, but, uh, you'll see how I did it in just a minute. So let's go ahead and speed right through this and add the footer to all these pages. Now we're done. Let's hit republish. And now when I look at the page, you'll see that the footer is going to be there. So let's go ahead and refresh and boom, there it is. Okay. Pretty cool, right? I love it. Super cool. Okie dokie. So now let's go into building the landing page. Let's go ahead. And the first thing we want to do is we want to duplicate the lead capture page. Why? Because it already has the foundation that we need for the design that we're working on anyway. So let's go ahead and duplicate that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it landing page instead of lead capture page. So let's go over here and go to settings and I'm going to call this landing page or just landing. Okay. So we're going to call that landing page so that now I can distinguish them. Now, while I'm back here, I kind of want to change the sort order. I want to put this page over here. So I'm going to click on sort and I'm going to drag this over here. So now I got the LCP, the landing page, confirmation page, and thank you page. So let me click on save sort and that's much better. So let's go ahead and click on edit page. And we're just going to add a few more cool things to this page. So remember, we have a global footer already so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add another panel so that i can continue making this a long form landing page i am going to go to the features because we already have a panel like this so let's just work with what we have so i'm going to go to panels and i'm going to go to features so we go to the features panel we already have some cool icons over here that we can work with and we have some cool designs that we can already use inside of our page so let me take a look and see which one i want to use and i'm going to choose one of these so i'm going to click on this one and that looks pretty cool so what i'm going to do is i am going to get rid of this text and i'm going to put here what you are about to discover inside our training okay 
and I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out. Now what I can do is, let's see what size this is. Um, it's 45, so maybe what I'll do is I'll just make this a little bit smaller so it fits on one line. Okay, that's much better, and let me center it. Okay, I like how that looks, and let me also center the element, and just make it a little bit smaller, and that looks great. So I'm going to bring this just a little lower. And we'll just use these cool squares as our icons because they look kind of cool. So first thing here is uh, generate one to five leads per day. And then we'll just go ahead and write some cool copy. Discover a new way to generate an abundance of free social media leads online virtually on demand okay and I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and make this like an 18 okay I like the way that looks so the second thing they're gonna learn is Done for you resources. Get access to our done for you funnels, lead capture pages, and chat bots to automate your business to the next level. Okay, and let's go ahead and change this to the 18 as well. And then here, how to earn 100% commissions. Okay, or earn 100% commissions. Much better. Discover how you can position yourself to earn up to 1,000 per week or more in commissions with our generous compensation program. Okay, so let me go ahead and make this an 18 as well. Okay, so that looks really good. Okay, um, I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller so it's not that much longer than the other one. Okay, that looks better. All right, so I am liking that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to put a line here just to divide it a bit. So let's go ahead and put a line. I'm just going to put a line over here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm bring it down here and I'm going to center it. And I'm going to go ahead and make it just a little bit lighter. And I'm going to right click. Remember that when you right click, the menu for that particular element comes up. And what I want to do is I want to make it a different color. So here it's um, black. And I'm just going to make it like gray. Okay. That looks way more refined. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a testimonial panel because they look really cool. And we want to have testimonials to get more social proof on there to get people to opt in. So I'm going to go ahead and click on panels, click on return, and we're going to go down to the testimonial panels. And I'm going to go ahead and just add this testimonial panel. And that looks great and it matches uh, basically our page. And yeah, that's basically it. Or we can make it, yeah, let's make it gray. So that, that way we don't clash too many colors on here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to background settings and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to change the color to like gray. Okay, so I, I actually like the way that looks better because it looks, I don't want to clash too much with the color scheme we already have going on. Okay, so we converted 
a short uh, lead capture page into a long form landing page. So let's take a look at what this looks like. And let's check it out. Boom, that looks great. So we took a short lead capture page and we made it to a full fledged landing page in just a few clicks. Right, so we are almost at the grand finale. So make sure to come back and stay tuned because in video five, I'm going to share with you some of my secret conversion hacks that are going to help you create more lead conversions with your lead capture page funnel so that you get more people to actually check out your presentation, right? Because if you are generating leads, you're obviously wanting to send people down through your sales process so they end up buying whatever it is that you're selling. So I'm gonna give you some cool insider tips on how you can make some tweaks to this lead capture page and this front end funnel basically so that you can increase those conversions so that ultimately we start generating more leads, sales and signups using our lead capture page funnel. So with that being said, I'll see you next time for video five. In the video you heard me mention BuildRaw. So what is BuildRaw? BuildRaw is an all-in-one digital marketing platform and it's the most complete and powerful digital marketing platform in the world. I've been using them since March of 2018 and I've been able to create everything from funnels to websites to membership sites to build my email list with unlimited subscribers and use the tools that I need to get a digital product off the ground all for one affordable monthly price. If you want to go ahead and check out BuildRaw, I will have links for you right below this video and you can even activate a 14 day free trial by entering your credit card and then if you like BuildRaw, you'll just continue to get billed for only $69.90 a month. So make sure to check it out. As you can see, I'm also one of their top affiliates and I am one of the success stories inside of the company because I've been successfully using BuildRaw to not only be an affiliate for the company, but to build my business. And I love the tool, it saves me money and it helps me help more people start their dream business online. And then finally, if you also wanna learn more about becoming an affiliate, I will have that link for you right below this video or somewhere on this page. You can learn about how you can plug into our funnel club system where in the next 24 hours you could actually create a system that allows you to stop trading your time for money, which is exactly how I built my business. So if you want to learn more about that, I will have that information right below this video. And finally, if you found this training helpful and you want to get in contact with me, here's where you can find me. You can check me out on Facebook over at facebook.com backslash Barbie Figueroa online. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're not there right now, just simply go to youtube.com backslash Barbie Figueroa and hit that subscribe button. Or you can send me a message over at risemarketinganddesign.com backslash contact. And I also have a profile over on MeWe, which is a new social network. I'll have that link for you right inside the description box right below this video. So thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. I'll see you on the next training video. Bye.